Hey, this is Rod from MCity, and today we're going to upgrade the factory drive in this 2011 MacBook Pro to a brand new solid state drive. And we're also going to copy all the data from the old drive to the new drive. You're going to need a few tools to perform this upgrade, so here's what you'll need. A small container to keep all the screws handy. A solid state drive. There's a large range available on our website, and this one is an OCZ Technology Vertex 3 model. A Phillips PH00 screwdriver. This Moody Tools one is also available from our website. It's small enough to remove the screws from the base of the case on most notebooks. Torx T6 screwdriver. This is one from Moody Tools, which is available on the Ram City website. These are typically used to get the screws out that hold in hard drives and solid state drives in your computer. Data transfer kit, which will enable you to copy data from the old drive to the new drive. Okay, so now we're going to start the cloning process to copy data from the old drive to the new SSD. So obviously you're going to need your transfer cable plus the SSD. So we just plug the transfer cable into the USB port on the Mac and plug the SSD into the other end. When you do that, the Mac will pop up and uh, tell you that you've got an uninitialized disk, you can go ahead and do the initialization. It's very straightforward. Just give the disk a name. In this case, I'm going to call it an OCZ SSD. Just click on Erase, click on Erase again, and that will happen quite quickly. And now your new SSD is prepared for the cloning process with SuperDuper. Now we begin the disk cloning process with SuperDuper, which you can download from the Shirt Pocket website. You just choose the copy to and from section, and then you type in your password, click OK, click on the copy button, and the copy begins. It's very straightforward, it takes a few hours depending on how much data you've got. Click OK. And now the cloning process is complete. Now we're going to use the Blackmagic application to measure the read and write performance on the old factory hard drive in this Mac. So the write performance is somewhere between 50 to 60 megabytes per second, and the read performance is slightly higher, about 60 to 70 megabytes per second. Okay, now comes the fun part. So we just need to remove our SSD from its cable in the Mac. Unplug the power cord and fully shut down the Mac. Don't just hibernate it. I'm going to get it to the point where it's completely turned off. And then once the shutdown is complete, you can close the lid, turn the Mac over. And you'll need to get out your Phillips P800 screwdriver and we're going to remove the 10 screws around the edge of the case and keep the screws in the container so you don't lose them. Once the screws are removed, and we can just remove the bottom of the case, and that gives us access to the hard drive bay. Now to remove the existing factory drive, we're just going to first of all need to loosen the screws that hold this little bracket down and they keep the drive in place. So you can use your Phillips screwdriver for that once again. And once those screws are removed, the bracket will then lift out. And then you can use that little piece of tape just to pull the drive out and then gently pry off the serial ATA connector and cable. Now what I'm doing here is just removing the little uh, guide screws on the side of the drive. They help hold the drive into the drive bay and also the little piece of tape which has got enough glue on it to stick onto the new drive. So I'm just going to apply that to the new solid state drive and then we're going to put those little guide screws back in on either side in fast forward.
And with that done, now we just reattach the serial ATA cable to the serial ATA port on the solid state drive. Make sure you've got that cable firmly pushed in. And then you just uh, wiggle the drive back in, put the bolts in the rubber grommets on one side and then on the other. And then you need to put the bracket back on and tighten up the screws on the bracket again just to make sure that the drive is held in firmly. This is a 7mm drive but it's held in quite nicely by this bracket. Now we're going to put the lid back on. and put back in the screws. Okay, now we've got our machine booted up with our new SSD and it is amazing how fast this machine boots now. We're going to run the Blackmagic software again just to see what the new drive speeds are like and it's a whopping almost 300 megabytes a second on the write speed and the read speed is about 420 megabytes per second. So this is the old figures, 60 and 70 on the old drive and now we just go back to the new drive again, 300 to 420. So it's a massive improvement in performance in the read write access to disk and it just makes the whole machine so much snappier. And that ends this installation video. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please put a comment below, either on our YouTube channel or on our blog, and subscribe to our channel, and we'll have some more installation videos here soon.